Right, so we're ready to go. Uh, welcome to IO Psychology. This is me. I'm Dr. Ashton. Uh, this is about 10 years ago at uh, New York City Comic Con. Who's sta standing behind me? The Hulk's going to get me. Hulk smash. Uh, so uh, this lecture is just basically your welcome to class lecture that's given the first day of class. And uh, I'll just go over the syllabus and set up the basic ground rules for the class and that's about it. So first off, uh, let's go over the syllabus. You have a copy of it online uh, so you could take a look at it. I would encourage you to do so. Uh, so here we have, uh, let me get a uh, pen. Okay, here we go with the required text. And uh, for every college class, I would encourage you to get the textbook uh, you know, we're using the fifth edition. I know the sixth just came out, uh, so the fifth edition should be a little bit cheaper. Uh, and uh, so uh, you can get that through the uh, text, uh, the uh, college bookstore that's online or any other uh, book selling source. I noticed that you could rent it for 23 bucks uh, on Amazon. Uh, so uh, that's one option you have. Okay, here are the weights of the different assignments for the course, and so I label this how to spe uh, spend your time, that is, what to uh, devote your time to in this course. So you see that the quizzes, and there's a uh, one, at least one quiz a week, and so there's 14 weeks. Uh, they account in total for 25% of your grade. The weekly discussion board, there's usually about one uh, per week, but we spread them out because students prefer to have longer time to respond to the discussion boards. So we'll be doing uh, two at the same time usually, uh, but uh, uh, that's another quarter. So that's the same as the quizzes. So the amount of time that you spend on the quizzes should be the same amount of time you spend on the discussion boards. And then we have a midterm exam and a final exam. So uh, each one of these components are equally, more or less equally weighted. Nothing's more than the others. Uh, but it does tell you about how you should spend your time for this course uh, and uh, what you need to do to get a good grade. Uh, so the exams, we're going to have a midterm and final exam. Uh, there are 60 questions. Uh, for the midterm exam. Uh, most, about 90%, are going to be taken from the questions of the weekly quizzes. So that's good for you because you'll see those uh, questions already before the midterm. Uh, I uh, am going to do something, uh, an experiment this semester, uh, in that I normally give about like, uh, you, know, uh, you know, an hour and a half or two hours for this exam. I'm going to give you a week. Uh, because I've seen uh, some literature and especially a uh, meta-analysis on uh, the difference between speed versus power tests and those terms you'll be familiar with after the next couple of weeks and they said that uh, the best way to measure a student's learning in class is not with a speed test that's timed but with a power test that's untimed so I'm uh, you know, investigating that this semester, so I'm going to give you probably as much time as you want uh, to do the exam. So it's going to be a power test for you, and we'll see how you do. Uh, and the final going to be the same because we're doing it during final exam days. You'll have three days for that. Uh, that's going to be se uh, 70 questions, the majority from the second half of the semester, and they're taken from the weekly quizzes of the second half of the semester. And uh, that's pretty much it for the exams. Uh, weekly, uh, you're going to be doing the readings in the textbooks and watching video lectures. And you're going to be participating in the weekly discussion boards. And then each week, I'll give you at least one quiz. And most of the quizzes are 15 minutes in length. And I see the quizzes as an opportunity for you to learn. So I give you unlimited attempts, and only the highest grade uh, is recorded. 
So that means that you can take a quiz, and if you don't do as well as you think you can do, you can study some more, and then you can take it again for a higher grade. And uh, this is based on research that shows that uh, quizzing, self-quizzing, is one of the best study uh, techniques uh, for students. And then finally, to contact me, uh, we have uh, my email address, but also uh, look on Blackboard about the online office hours, which is a discussion board, and that's up already. It's hard to neatly write with a mouse. Uh, and so uh, take a look at the syllabus or online about uh, what I prefer you to say to me on the online office hours versus in private emails. Also, uh, no office hours because I'm not going to be in this semester. Uh, since this is a totally online course, uh, that usually doesn't come into play. Uh, but probably what I'm going to try to do is play around with virtual office hours, like maybe an open, ha open house hour or half hour a week and see how that goes. So, uh, you know, I'll announce that on Blackboard as the semester begins. And that's a cat sitting on a light. Uh, one thing I like to do is uh, evaluate the class uh, and ask students also, in addition to the evaluation, ask students uh, to give advice, not to me, but to the students for next semester. And so here's some advice. Actually, this is all the advice that uh, students gave me for uh, you from last semester. Uh, I be believe you did a good job, so that's not for really for you, but for me. And you should do the exact same thing. Well, thanks, but that's not for students. Uh, this student is really giving you advice. Always look out for the due dates of assignments. Uh, don't leave your quizzes for the end of the semester. Uh, do the uh, quizzes weekly. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, memorize the syllabus. I don't say memorize, but you should know it well. Uh, and follow the instructions for assignments, something I can agree with. And hey spring, well I didn't say that it would be spring, but hey 2020 students, uh, IO Psychology is honestly the most interesting course I've taken thus far, and I've been in school for quite a time. Uh, so read the textbook. Ooh, where's my pointer? Uh, make sure you stay on top of the Blackboard notifications. Uh, these are things I say, and hopefully that other students are telling you this. Well, good. Uh, get the app. Yeah, I don't know about the app because I'm not a student. Uh, you know, Professor Ashton is thorough and gives great feedback. Uh, the assignments are posted two weeks in advance, so you should just knock them out just uh, as uh, is. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time. I always do that. Uh, he likes posts to be long, uh, more than 150 to 200 words. Yep, I do. Uh, and quizzes are based on the textbooks and discussions, so make sure you do your reading. Uh, you know, just because it's an online course doesn't mean it's easy. Well, an online course should be just as hard or easy as an in-person course. Have a great semester. Uh, Last semester, even though I wasn't teaching IO Psych, I did ask my students from my in-person class uh, regarding advice uh, for uh, you know the transition over to uh, you know distance learning because of online teaching, and some of this may actually you know help uh, this class out. Uh, one of the changes that I that they said was a good change when we went over from in-person to online is. Uh, I added the assignments to the calendar, and if you look at the calendar right now, you'll see that I do have the calendar laid out for you. So on Blackboard, uh, Blackboard's calendar, uh, you know what you can do is that you can uh, look and see what's due today, what's due next week, and it's all laid out on the calendar. Uh, the rest, and eh, not really pertinent to our class. Uh, you know, this is the in-person class. I have them meet at a given time. That doesn't apply to us. And this doesn't apply to us. And finally, I asked them, do you want me to talk about the pandemic and things in class? Do you want, to talk, do you want me to talk about how uh, the class material relates to the pandemic? 
you know, in, in this class I could talk about stress. You know, we have a chapter on stress, and we, we certainly have stress related to the pandemic. Or you want me to just ignore the pandemic? And actually, I got mixed uh, responses. Some students said, oh, I'm playing with uh, a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, tape here, so sorry about that. Uh, I should stop doing that. Uh, so that was mixed, so I'll certainly listen to uh, uh, what you folks say about that uh, as the semester unfolds. And that's just a placeholder. And then uh, finally, even though I think it's uh, fairly obvious, I think that we really need to uh, talk about this, or I really need to talk about this. Uh, things are kind of crazy, crazy wrong uh, in the country recently. And so even though to me this is all obvious, uh, I think that it's uh, worthwhile to hear your professor uh, actually say this. Uh, and Senior uh, Tarman did it well, and so I'm uh, ripping off her uh, poster. Uh, undocumented students, uh, it's ridiculous to talk about whether you belong here or not, whether people are uh, legal where they are or not. Everybody's legitimately where they are. That's what I believe. So uh, if you're here, then you're legitimate. Uh, black students, black lives matter. Uh, and uh, I've supported the black, Live Mo black lives matter movement for the four years they've been in existence. Uh, Muslim students and uh, students from uh, Middle East descent. Uh, you know, I know that you're not terrorists. I know that a lot of people may think that, but I certainly don't. Uh, Mexican students uh, and Latino and Latinx students, uh, you know, I'm happy to have you here. Females, female students, uh, you know, you're respected, and I've spent my entire career for the last 35 to 40 years uh, talking about gender and gender equality. Likewise, I've spent the last 30 uh, to uh, 40 years uh, talking about uh, the scientific research be behind gender and gender identity and sexuality and how uh, there's very few differences between uh, straight cis people and uh, you know, uh, gay people, uh, lesbians, bisexuals, transsexuals. Uh, so I want all students to know that you're welcome in class. And uh, that's it for the lecture. So if you have any questions from this lecture, uh, or you have any questions from the syllabus, uh, online office hours is the venue for you to post your comment about uh, what you'd like to say about what I said or ask any questions to clarify what I said. All right, so I'll see you online. Well, I, I mean that uh, figuratively because we are asynchronous, so I'll just see you on the discussion board or in emails, uh, but I will see you around uh, figuratively for this class. Bye-bye.